This is an International 433 pay scraper. It's made by First Gear and it's in 125th scale. Now this is a pretty great model. It's nice to have a scraper in such a big scale. Um, and it's also nice to have one done as well as this one is. Uh, it, it's a very good model. It has a very good balance of plastic and metal. Uh, it's got a lot of weight to it. It is a very heavy model. Um, but, like I said, it's got a lot of detailing to it. And, and the detailing, the, the finer parts are almost entirely plastic. But, it, uh, it displays very well. I don't think the plastic takes away too much from it. And I think it's uh, overall just very well done. Um, right off the bat, you can see like the the interior detail is pretty well done. The operator's cab it looks pretty good. You got some pretty fair amount of uh, pretty fair amount of detail in there. The seat is nice. You even have a little fire extinguisher, which is cool. Um, all the detail on the front end, very very well done. You know, with the transmission and all that, um, all the hydraulic piping. You even have a little dipstick right here. How cool is that? Um, <clears throat> the, uh, the old rain cap on the stack even moves, which is nice. Uh, as far as the functionality goes, it is pretty pretty well done. Everything works the way it's supposed to, but because you have the plastic uh, jackets on the cylinders, they really won't hold themselves up. The, the apron is it's all metal and it's a little bit too heavy to be held up just by the cylinder alone which is a bit a bit of a disappointment and the same goes for the bowl the bowl is just it's a little bit too heavy for the cylinders to hold it up which it it is disappointing but um i don't think it takes away too much from the model overall now in the back half the ejector does work and you do have the cylinders in there it's kind of hard to get your fingers in there but uh yeah you can see the cylinders there and the hydraulic piping and all that and you can get a good look at the motor on the back half too these are twin engine scrapers which is pretty nice you can get these in a couple different varieties there's a standard yellow version, there's an army version, you could get these in white. And what you could also do is you could get these in a push-pull variation. They came in a pair where you had the uh, the hook and the bail on the, on the front and rear of either one. And you could set the two scrapers up as though they were in a push-pull operation, which is pretty neat. Now those sets are... I wouldn't say they're terribly hard to find, but they're uncommon. And because of that, they usually run the range of uh, anywhere from about $300 to $450. They're pretty pricey. And again, not because they're necessarily rare, they're just uncommon. Uh, again, you can see some pretty good motor detail in there. You got some nice labels. The, uh, the grease schedule's on the other side of the bowl. You can see that nice... Uh, that mesh section in the apron so you can look back from the operator station you can see what's going on inside the bowl which is uh it's a very minor detail but it's pretty nice that they they included that um <clears throat> here in the front again you can see some of the the nice major detail you can see some of the great things that are going up here on the uh on the neck and underneath it looks pretty good underneath you got some pretty pretty nice detail in there especially on the motor in the rear all the, the hose lines and the piping and everything and yeah again you can see just how loose that that cylinder is on the apron like there is just almost no resistance to that uh to that cylinder at all which it is a little disappointing but overall though it's a really nice model i think it's definitely worth the money uh it looks fantastic sitting on the shelf and it, it complements all the other 125th scale models from uh, First Gear as well. Really makes for a pretty nice collection. And like I said, it's nice to have a big giant scraper. 
It's just, uh, they look great. Anyway, that's about it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. If you'd like to see more of what we have, please subscribe to Maryland Construction Diecast. And as always, thanks for watching.